everyone and welcome to a uh, not a double upload. Don't worry about that. Uh, to uh, today's Captain's Video Weblog, we are Thursday, um, September the twenty-fourth, and boy howdy, what a rocky, what a rocky road that was that day, huh? Well, I mean, I'm talking about me. I well, first, um, if we s start about midnight, which is the start of the day, um, at midnight it was a pretty okay day, I guess. I was a bit tired, and I also was a bit frustrated because I saw the rugby match. We won, but we've been seriously. You know, um, we were pushed by Romania, uh, which, you know, Romania doesn't sound like it, but it's outside of the six nations, which are France, Ireland, England, uh, Wales, Scotland, yeah, that's, that's all. Um, besides the six nations, uh, oh, Italy, uh, yeah. Um, Europe, best two teams in Europe, Georgia, uh, Georgia, 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 uh, not the, the American state, which capital is Atlanta, but the state of the, in the Caucasus, where Stalin is from, <laughs> and, um, and Romania, Romania is an old rugby nation. You know, there's been talks about um, Argentina integrating the Six Nations before it fell through and they they got into the, the Tri-Nations with... Um, uh, well, they didn't get into the Tri-Nations. There was a Tri-Nations with um, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. And now they're the, you know, the, the big four of the Southern Hemisphere. Um, but yeah. We were civil. It was a match we could have lost, I think. But that wasn't too too bad. I mean, we scored two tries in about five or ten minutes, and then we scored another two tries in the second half. It was pretty okay. Um, now, what I was frustrated about was football, because um, I noticed a little something. We well, we. My team, the team I, I'm always about, uh, OM, they were drawn by Toulouse, in Toulouse, and you know, I I switched on the match at the 87th minute, I think, so the match was pretty well, pretty much over. Um, I switched on the match when uh, was a free kick. Uh, and I was like, yeah, uh, we're being, we're being fucked because at this moment it was one nil four to lose, and um, so the free kick was a foul, uh, something like that, and it was, you know, I was like, yeah, no, this won't do, and then I noticed that Toulouse had two red cards. We had one red card, so I decided to do the only thing that was in my power to see what happened, which was to check the tr the Twitter feed of of the club. I learned that our red card is Mendy, um, quite possibly our best asset on the on the left side. I of the defense um, because he's a great winger oh you don't even know <laughs> he, sometimes he's out of the defense and he goes all the way to to put the fucking cross oh god he's so good plays pretty well with uh, Cabela and Enkudu which is a Good thing because we need that. 
when you're playing a 4-4-2, you need your wingers to be able to play together. Manquillo and Alessandrini, they play together pretty well, um, despite what's been said about Alessandrini after his performance in Gengang. That's another thing. But yeah, that was pretty frustrating, because then Batsuai, who I think is going to be a great scorer, and uh, a great striker, possibly will remain in the legend of Marseille, if he stays. Um, he equalized, and then, I don't know who that was, I think it was Mankio, or maybe it was Bunasa who, well, he, he could have made the greatest cross on history, that was his three on one, and the one was the goalkeeper, because it uh, was three on three, if you keep the goalkeeper, he first eliminated one of the, of Toulouse's wingers, um, then the other, I think he, he, he fucked up and tripped, <laughs> I think that's what happened. He does his cross, but it's too close to the keeper. To the keeper, basically, he jumps on the ball, <laughs> you know, and we're fucked. That's why I was pretty frustrated. Um, so then I switch on my computer. Uh, I try to edit the video, yesterday's video which I uploaded today, through the, um, the um, my phone's uh, video maker, it doesn't want to, so I, at first I think it's a problem with the, an issue with, an issue with the memory, so I transfer all the big files on the computer, turns out it's not that, the movie maker apparently doesn't like when one of the, its videos is over one gig. So um, I transferred the, the two videos because there's one weighing two gigabytes and one weighing probably 50, 50 60 megs. Um, I transferred them on my computer. I tried to open them on the on Windows Movie Maker because you know I don't. I don't need the kind of editing that you 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 need for uh, a good video. That's that's a vlog, uh, and I put it on Windows Movie Maker. It's been probably three years since I last used Windows Movie Maker. So uh, one thing I didn't remember was that one, it takes a lot of time to process the videos, which is well when they when they're heavy, which is pretty normal, I guess. Uh, but it took, it took enough time that I could take the shower, literally, and it wouldn't have ended the processing, which is, you know, bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. Uh, so, um, and then when I want to export it, uh, suddenly it hits me that, uh, you know, it's like this thing, um, the, the, suddenly, uh, uh, the, the, the rate, you know, the bitrate, it's really high and I don't get it, because, you know, it's, even though, I know, these videos are MP4, now we're pretty much at 10 minutes, video weighs 1 gigabyte, alright, but then, I put it there, and the, the, the the bitrate is so high, I think I, the, the video, the final video would have weighed probably 10 or 15 gigabytes, which is a lot. Um, I, I, at least I think it would have been, but uh, I checked the format, it's a fucking WMV or AVI. I'm like, oh shit, that's gonna be too heavy. I'm never going to be able to put it on YouTube. And you know, the first thing I do, I open Sony Vegas, and Sony Vegas 
I, I don't know if it's because the videos are on my external hard drive. Sony Vegas is a fucking piece of shit. I started to upload, you know, I started to, to do the rendering around midnight because the videos there, there are like that. Uh, I, I rendered the video in MP4. The video, the final result weighs even less than the original videos, which I think is a good thing. But the fucking rendering lasted for six hours. Well, maybe 30 seconds short of, of six hours. But you don't do that. I remember when I was rendering my Portal 2 videos, it took an hour and my videos were one gigab... Mm, probably one gigabyte. F fuck that! So, uh, anyway... Um, um, I... When I woke up, I put... Uh, I was so frustrated, I, I just ate... I... I ate, it was probably 1 a.m. I decided to do some stuff before going to bed. I, I ended up going to, to bed at 3.30, 3.40. That's not cool, but you know, that's that's still manageable. I put three alarms, one at 6, uh, 6.30, one at 7, uh, one at 7.30, and... Uh, no, I don't think I put one at 6.30. I probably put one at 8 a.m. That's probably a thing. Um, so yeah, I I woke up. I thought it was... Uh, I, I First thing I did was look at my phone. It was 8 a.m. Pretty much 8 o'clock. It was 8.02. Um, but when I step out of the bed, suddenly... It's half past eight, and there are, I mean, some deep shit. Because um, I had my class at nine. You know? Like, I'm in, you know, the, the place I talked about uh, last week. Um, uh, and uh, I ended up just uh, drinking some milk, cho chocolate milk, chocolate milk. Um, and I put the video on, I uh, decided to put the video on YouTube. Fun, funny thing, uh, when I left, it was, well, I think like 8.45. Uh, the, the, the amount of minutes required for the full import was, for the full upload was um, 110 minutes. I didn't come back for the whole day. When I got back, it was still... Uh, the upload was about 20% done, and it's <laughs> the amount of time, the amount of time remaining before it was completed had gone to 430 minutes. 430 minutes. If you don't know how long this is, this is pretty much eight hours. So I decided to cancel it, uh, retry. And, you know, the upload didn't go further than 30%. Uh, that's why I decided that I should put it on... Uh, I should try and upload it through Firefox. Firefox worked! Um, but I like to do some shopping. Um, so, uh, just so that my computer wouldn't uh, die from overheating, I put the shutdown and I was really 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 stressed about it uh, so much so that I checked pretty much every 10 minutes my gmail uh, uh, inbox my gmail inbox for the mail that says that the video is online and you know the video was online about a uh, quarter of a quarter of an hour before uh, my computer uh, shut itself down. Anyway, um, during the day, pretty frustrating also, I took the bus and I I got asthma, you know, so uh, 
uh, walking fast, not a good thing. I arrived there uh, at the place I had my class really angry because I was walking fast and when I saw the people in front of the the, the building where, uh, where there's a classroom, everyone, including the teachers, were on the front and I was like, yo, we, the, the class is supposed to have started five minutes ago. What are you all doing outside? Why did I really put a fucking rock through my lungs to avoid being I'm watching a politics show uh, our, our Prime Minister is pr getting pretty heated oh yeah so um, class goes pretty much as expected I nearly fell asleep during the documentary that were uh, screening at the end uh, so then I'm walking and I'm taking a bus to go to because uh, I we had just one hour between uh, our two classes and our second class is our second class was at the university the main campus and um, in front of the zoo there's a whole classroom of little children I have nothing about that against them uh, it's just that when I try to board off the bus I I made some signs to the to the driver we had a a red signal just after because you know that's the kind of thing that happens I make some signs for him to open the door he says no what a fucking asshole he thinks that I got the time I had the time I had like half an hour but I had to eat and to check my upload if I had seen that the upload had pretty much failed at noon the video would have been online way sooner uh, than 7 p.m. <laughs> um, yeah anyway so you probably noticed that I I tried to speak more in the microphone I hope that this is the microphone that picks up sound and not the one on my phone directly because if so I'm fucked there's probably no sound um, no I I mean I don't know um, because you know uh, I talk with my hand a lot so um, if I don't have yeah, see if I have to hold with my left hand I'll probably put the finger on my camera so that I can speak uh, into the microphone if it can record the sound through this microphone I'm okay with putting my hand there my right hand there directly on the microphone um, but I mean it's not as if anyone was watching first and secondly I do this more to vent than anything else you know um, that's something pretty frustrating about being an adult um, is that you can have a tantrum like uh, as if you were a kid uh, when you're a kid you have a tantrum and suddenly your parents are like yeah no you can do that but it's also a bit comprehensive uh, you can throw a tantrum when you're 22 that's one of the things I learned about being an adult so, um, uh, another thing that I noticed a lot when I was an adult because of being an adult and I noticed it before being really an adult uh, it's um, a lot of girls I know take the pill like a whole lot of them um, I don't know about people in my family but I've always had a lot of female friends uh, somehow I don't know how that happens um, all of them um, they take the pill I mean it's um, it's something that's pretty responsible because you never know what would happen you know, uh, one day you're having a good time and suddenly, boom, you forgot the pill and you, you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, what a sad thing. Uh, that's, that's not a thing you should say. You know, uh, the only time where uh, being pregnant is not exactly cool. It's when you're raped 
and uh, that's uh, some, something you should never hope. Uh, woo! Uh, yeah, I, there was this girl that took the train with me when I was in my first year of, of PEPA, and she lived in Toulouse, and if the train got some, some, uh, got, got delayed by any amount of time, she was, she had to take the pill in the train and she was always so embarrassed. We spent one year, I slept at her home. She didn't want me to, I had to sleep on the rag, uh, on a, on a carpet, uh, the, the head nearly under a table because, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if she didn't trust me or if she didn't trust herself. <laughs> I mean, I trust myself. Uh, I was sweaty as hell, so obviously I wouldn't have made a move. I'm not that kind of, uh, of person, you know. But, uh, yeah, I can understand where it's going coming from. She's from a if I if I recall correctly, she's from a Catholic family, so uh, obviously it's not going to go well if she is in the same bed with another man than her current boyfriend. Um, and that would have been pretty awkward, but you know, um, they they found a way to. Uh, to laugh about that anyway in class, so uh, I mean, pff, whatever at, the, at this point was the pro probably the second week, but yeah, uh, one time she she had to to take the pill in the train and she was so embarrassed and we were alone and I was like yeah but I'm not going to judge you I know that you take the pill you have an alarm that goes off pretty much every time we step off the train, so what am I going to say? Um, oh god, it's probably, uh, it's fleeing in my bed, what the hell, probably brought them back with my, for because of my cat, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it happened the first year I was in, un in university because um, one of my friends, I at the time, I couldn't say she was really my friend because uh, we know each other since, well, I was in high school, she was in middle school, uh, and that's something really weird because um, the only reason why someone who's three or four months younger than me ended up three years behind me is because I, I skipped grades, I skipped grades twice. And it's really weird because I'm from September and she's from January of the following year. And she's from really early in January at that. Which means if she were born three month, three or four days earlier, she would have been my age. But because of that, everybody says she's one year younger than me. And that's despite us being born just four months, uh, uh, you know, that's just four months of difference, and that's really weird. Uh, so yeah, she had an alarm going off, because apparently every girl who has to take the pill has an alarm going off, saying, hey, you need to take the pill, <laughs> as if, you know, that's not something really important. Uh, I mean, obviously you could forget it, you know? A uh, long day at classes or at work, and like, oh yeah, oh about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, that's in, and you know that's something that never happened in high school, even in my last year when some of the people, some of my classmates, were already adults uh, with uh, a seemingly already pretty eventful if I may say so uh, sexual life um, but when you're in university suddenly oh yeah I gotta act like an adult uh, you 
desperately you gotta pass to act like a kid until you're in high school which is pretty weird because in high school I'm already pretty much supposed to be pretty sure about your future you know oh yes I think so I mean I've been pretty much set about uh, what I want to do in my life since before I even entered first grade so uh, I wouldn't know about other people I always wanted to be a geographer uh, I'm uh, officially I've officially been a geographer for a year well not exactly a year uh, since I on since I needed to uh, take my diploma and I only took it in June but yeah you get you catch my drift. Even si even even ever since I graduated uh, with my uh, bachelor's degree, I am a geographer. I have the qualification. I can do it. I can say, "Hey, look at this. It means I'm a geographer." Mm. Um. Yeah. When you your your university suddenly oh god. Good golly, oh, I'm big. Uh, I don't work for that. I'm still pretty much a kid. No, even though I'm 22, I'm, I still have a lot of struggle uh, with kind of life. Oh, yeah. Oh, probably my biggest regret in, in prepa was that I lost a very good friend, female friend, because I confessed to her and she thought I wanted to go out with her. and. I'm like I was like no I that's not what I meant sorry and uh, it was at the, the end of the first year and I thought like yeah uh, suddenly she's single that could be the right moment because it would be awkward to, s to confess to her what she is not and she's probably like the ideal girl to me like n no other girl to still today um, you know, it's like boxing with God. You don't know. She's uh, she's obviously not perfect, but in my eyes, in my eyes, she pretty much is. And she took the pill also. <laughs> That's was something very interesting. She kept on taking the pill as she was single, because uh, she's a responsible adult. Adult. And funny thing, she was of the same year as me, but she was born in February. So um, we spent more year, way more time in the year not having the same age, rather than having the same age. Like, um, unlike people who were born, you know, in January after me, people born in February before me, despite being the same year as me, well they're not the same age for most of the year uh, and uh, yeah we talked last time we talked I think you I mean face to face it was during the exams for uh, the Ecole Normale Superior and uh, I was like yeah well that's the end huh and I wanted to keep to stay in in Po because uh, obviously I knew her so it would be would have been great uh, way to well to not be totally lost uh, in the university uh, but uh, I guess it's it wasn't you know possible plus I would have been busted for the the this, this whole second year where I did fucking nothing. Uh, and you know, I asked for I asked I asked her. I remember in probably October in the first year, and one of her f uh, one of her, of her friends told her it's not because you're on a diet that you can look at the menu, and I f uh, that was probably the nicest thing anyone has said about me, you know, <laughs> and I I'm not even joking, it, that's probably the nicest thing anyone has said about me except that time when um, uh, my lesbian friend said that she would have dated me in middle school but that she wouldn't do it because obviously she's lesbian so um that that's 
not how that works. Um, anyway, we've, we've crossed 30 minutes again. I'm beginning to uh, to think that uh, probably this this is not a good format, you know, five ten minutes. Or maybe I just need to run sometimes, but I, now that wasn't ranting, that was more rambling. You know, our Prime Minister is on a debate show, and there's this clock ticking down, and every time it gets to zero, it reminds me of my time when I was in prepa, and uh, we we had we crossed the, the, the time, and we're like one nice sentence, and we all have done the same thing. Pre probably in high school, probably in university people have done it. In university, I'm not that sure because I'm, I've had some time, uh, some strange uh, things happening in uh, university where I was used to do uh, six hours, six hour exams. Now they reduced uh, uh, when I was in prepa. And now in the university, it's two hours. Uh, so um, it's... Uh, Something that's like, hey, no, you cut my wings, you fucking assholes. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Uh, yeah. And he's doing this thing where he keeps on talking. And no, he's not putting a point. He's putting maybe there a semicolon. Maybe there a, 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 a hyphen. But no full stop. And that reminds me of that. You got one last sentence. And that last sentence, it could go... Uh, the most the longest last sentence I've probably done was l one page and was in philosophy because we have philosophy classes you know it's part of the Republican uh, teaching you know the method uh, you have to to open your mind to the values of the French Republic and that's something that you know that sounds like uh, bullshit because you're the most most philosophers you you learn uh, are pretty huge uh, religious people, you know, uh, betting on on God's existence. Uh, like yeah, no, that's not the Republican spirit because the Republican spirit. I mean, obviously. The Republican spirit teaches you the freedom of speech and religion and all that jazz. But at the same time, we're pretty much an atheist country. I mean, you know, uh, this, this whole thing about um, uh, laicity, I don't know if, that, if that's even a word, but that says that in class, you, you don't. The religions, no. Um, religions and politics like you know most teachers are pretty heavily left-wing uh, but you don't they, they just don't teach you that way even though um, you know sometimes you you see uh, when they're in a certain branch and by that I mean literary branches are more uh, left-wing than say uh, scientific no scientific science uh, it's pretty left wing because right wing is still pretty Christian you know economics all on that it's economics is more it's, it's split because you've got the, the Keynesians um, and you've got uh, it's pretty split because Economics are, you know, something that's always, that's probably the most politicized branch of education. Uh, because, uh, obviously, that's economics. You're, you're putting some weight on the politics and the policies. I mean, it's pretty cool that, you, you know, you have two words for that. Because in French, it's one word and it's politic. And, you know... You're putting some weight on the politic and the politic, and you're like, yeah, you said twice the same thing, but no, I didn't mean that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you tomorrow. This one, well, it be it will be uploaded probably either 
really late today or really early tomorrow because uh, 25 minutes it's three gigs and a half so uh, I don't know the upload time really fast with that on the that, that network I am compared to home where I can spend four hours uploading a video that's only 600 gigs pro uh, 600 megabytes but uh, that's also probably because the, the television uh, is through goes through internet so um, uh, stop with the left right split no you don't the, the left wing I am pretty much left wing uh, I am you know I describe myself I, as a softcore communist uh, because uh, you know I'm I've got some some real life experience that tells me that some of the things the right wingers say aren't wrong but I'm still heavily left wing and when I see talking about the end of the left right thing it's not happening we still have a huge split in thoughts about policies uh, I find it pretty ironic that the guy from the right wing is wearing a red tie and the guy from the left wing is wearing a blue tie but on the other end our prime minister which is a socialist who is a socialist he is not exactly known for being a totally socialist he is more of a social democrat um, so with some ideas on security that uh, are pretty right wing I will say it uh, but yeah uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening to me rambling even though I'm probably rambling in a very silent tone um, see you tomorrow yeah well it all depends on whenever on when the upload ends both uploads yeah uh, Uh, bye! Jesus Christ, this is a long video.